things to watch for when moving to Spain, uh, moving to the Philippines. Um, I'll just do a quick 10, but these are things I know which often become an issue um, for some people. First one is paying immigration officials. You don't have to pay any bribes. There's actually a legal process, and I think half the problem is Chinese whispers. Um, a friend of mine mentioned the fact that his mother-in-law said, give this guy money, this is how it works, blah blah blah. And then he was doing that for a while, and then one day he went himself, um, without any help, and he just went and processed it himself. He was giving money away for no apparent reason because if you shove money in people's pockets, they're not going to complain. <laughs> At the same time, there's no reason to do it. Um, so that's number one. Second one is if you're expecting things to be like the West, you're crazy. <laughs> um, everything's different. But at the same time, it's more about adapting and accepting change. Um, if you're expecting to have a hot shower in your bathroom, you're not likely to have it. Not in a lot of places. A lot of them, they just have a bucket on the floor uh, with a like a it'd be like a pot later. It's like a plastic pot that you wash yourself with. Now you think that's crazy, you know? Because I know what some people are like. There's a reason for that. A lot of the time, water doesn't run 24/7, so they have these big drums with this ladle in it because they can leave it running because they can leave the tap switched on and what happens is they can hear it when the water switches on and fills it up so that they know um, as soon as there's water um, it also means that when the water switched off they can actually still have a shower who's got it right and who's got it wrong you with a shower, the electric shower with no water going through it or the guy with a pot so um, and that goes through everything to the food because if you go western food, it gets expensive. Um, if, I, if I eat locally, I can live on like uh, equivalent of a hundred pounds a month. But if we eat the way we normally do, um, our living standard is about a thousand pounds a month. Um, as you can see, it's only about 10% if you're living local. But when you start having uh, foreign foods and, <laughs> well, western foods and stuff, it gets expensive. It doesn't mean don't do it. I'm just saying be aware of it. Um, next thing is, if you think the job prospects are going to be good in the Philippines, think again. Um, there's plenty of Filipinos searching for jobs, and you'll, you'll find that even for a call center job, they might get 200 people apply for one job. It, it's a very tough market, um, but also. The Philippines really hasn't opened up to modern modernization, and the fact is, it should be embracing the West. Um, it's a very closed, elitist type country. Um, it's why, like, you get problems with the internet and things like that. Oh, that's for number four, um, because all the companies are owned by certain families. So you've got certain families that control the internet, the power companies. You got San Miguel, which own not only all the beers, but the livestock foods, which means they also control the price of food. Because um, obviously, meat, fish, whatever it is that people are producing, are reliant on their uh, fertilizers, their animal food stock. At the end of the day, they control the entire market. They're not too fussed about the West because they've got that much money. You remember, these are families. They they don't give it. And monkeys about the rest of the country. They're looking after themselves. So unless and unless they have any uprising, nothing's going to change. Um, not at the pace you would expect it to. Um, so be aware of it. Number five, it rains. And when it rains in the Philippines, it really does rain. It can rain for a month. Um, be aware, it's not like Western rain. If you have heavy rain in the Philippines. You get landslides. You, a journey that could take you an hour could end up being cut off for two days. It's, it's very, very dangerous when it rains. Um, it's just something to be aware of because you get flash floods, you get all the sorts of stuff you find in movies happens in the Philippines for real. Um, and it's not a case of 
don't go, but just be prepared for everything. Use a bit of common sense. Is that number five? Yeah, okay. Number six, religion is king in the Philippines, unfortunately. Well, in my view is unfortunate because it has too much influence on politics, um, which is why the birth control is still a big issue. Um, you find churches everywhere. You find the poorest places have the biggest churches. Um, obviously, a bit of manipulation, but that's that's religion for you. Um, I don't like churches. <laughs> I have no issue with religion. I have an issue with church abusing people for their money. Um, but I'll cut that one short. Number seven. You get approached by women all the time. It's extremely common. Um, you could be sitting having a coffee, mind your own business, and women will come up and proposition you. It's not all prostitution, though. Um, some of these people are actually just looking for a foreign husband. Some people are pretty desperate. It's just something to be aware of and something just to um, sort of like shrug off and be polite, but um, send them on their way. Because you got to remember, some of these people are really struggling on a daily basis, so they don't really need abuse. They just need um, a general reminder that you're not interested. Um, but if you're not used to that sort of thing, yeah, you might find it a bit weird. Um, I guess money number eight. Beggars are everywhere. Um, and they also get street, street sales. It's mainly child beggars that are manipulated by their parents because they know that kids bring in more money. Um, so what you'll do, if you if you sit in a coffee shop or a McDonald's or something on the inside of the glass, you'll get kids come up to the window making faces and saying they're hungry and everything else. But also you can sit there and you can watch the parents like pushing the kids off to and pointing out which people for the kids to go over to. Um, I personally never give money. Um, I will give food. Sometimes I'll give McDonald's when I'm when I'm there myself, but you really shouldn't give money. Um, first thing is, drug and alcohol abuse is a big thing. Um, you could actually be encouraging kids to take Rugby Blue, which is this little they put like in a I think it's like a bottle cap, and then they they like sniffing the glue, the glue sniffing. Um, so if you give them the money, they could actually be using it to take drugs. Give them a sweet corn, they can sit and eat it. You're, you're actually doing something positive with it. But it's it's not your fault they're taking drugs. A lot of this is to do with um, controlling people. If you've got people with a drug habit, you can control um, 20, 30 street kids and take all the money off them and they go out begging every day to bring you the money for the drugs. That is a sad state of affairs. But that's what goes on. Um, nine, Filipinos are nice. You'll find most Filipinos will not give you any vibration. If anything, they're always happy and wanting to talk to you, want to meet you. But you will meet the odd one um, where, <laughs> where they will cause a problem. If you've got a Filipino that is giving you, if isn't bothered by you or something, it's very likely they're going to be pretty dangerous to be dealing with. Um, I just avoid. I just avoid any confrontation with them. Um, There's been a few expats over the years that have upset their sons and other people that they had no idea who they were dealing with. Um, but there's over a million illegal firearms in the Philippines. So be aware. Um, be polite and just avoid confrontation generally. You'll find most people are friendly. The only time people get annoyed with you generally is when you've done something to them. Um, an expat being an idiot is pretty normal, <laughs> but the expectation of that happening um, is pretty high. I seen it, it when I went to Spain recently. It was just like, oh my god, I'm in my worst nightmare <laughs> with um, some of the behaviour of the British expats out there. Well, holidaymakers, sorry, they're not expats, but it sort of hits home how people see us. Um, you know. Not you personally, but as a, um, a race, as a, a nation, it all reflects on you what other people are doing. So, just be polite. 
10 I would say transportation is something to be wary of um, public transport I recommend uh, just being careful if you're on jeepneys pickpockets are rife um, armed robberies seem to be on the increase um, I noticed that in the last year or so well it'll be the last two years because I've been, been away for a year um, there was at least six six plus robberies um, in the next town from where we live and they're just robbing the jeepneys like every passenger in there I'm not, I think it's more to do with the fact that people got less money so they're taking higher, bigger risks pickpockets, rife um, I know uh, when I first went there, I went to the Philippines and I knew a couple of people I would probably say that number is about 20 people now that have had been pickpocketed on cheapness um, same with the market areas, they're high risk but also be aware that they're not properly built, the vehicles um, a lot of vehicles are just spot welded and thrown together um, the jeepneys, the, the small ones, they're, uh, they're made out of the Suzuki's, Daihatsu's, that sort of thing they're death traps, if, they, they're, if they're in a crash with a bigger vehicle they just fold up like a tin can so careful on those and then on the bigger buses, although they're more uh, secure they do crash a lot um, because they drive way too fast for the roads now these are things to think about they're not saying don't go don't go it's dangerous it's just things to think about now I'm going to do another video straight after this one which is 10 things why to go to the Philippines but I wanted to make people aware of these negative stuff uh, simply just to think because a lot of time people just go yeah I'll be fine be prepared if you're not prepared things can go badly wrong okay thanks for watching and watch the, the next video.